My name is Tanya Williams. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. I'm a social worker for community long-term care. I had my stroke uh, on my last birthday, um, October 26th. Actually, when I had my stroke, I was asleep and I fell out of the bed. And my youngest daughter, she was like, Mama, get up, get off the floor. And I couldn't move. I tried to pull myself up with the covers on the bed and I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't move. And at that time, I noticed my speech started slurring. By the time the paramedics got there, they were able to like sit me up, but I couldn't talk at all by the time they got there. I was trying to look around, but I couldn't see anything. It was just, all I could see was a blur. They brought me to the emergency room. I was able to get out that my oldest daughter worked here at Richland. I remember her coming down and being with me. I could hear them talking about having to do a procedure or a surgery but I wasn't sure what they were getting ready to do. When I woke up later on that day, I was able to talk again. My vision was back and I was able to move. They did a thrombectomy on me. My neurologist, he explained to me that basically they went in my brain and they removed the clot. The night of that stroke, i never forget it. By the time I got to the hospital, it was right after she had got here. My first question was, was it a mild stroke, minor, or was it major? And they were saying it was major. And then my expectations went down for the recovery uh, based on what I've seen in my years of living. <laughs> you know what I mean? People just don't recover from the uh, major strokes like that. Recovery was hard. It was hard because I'm a very independent person and having to depend on people to do things for you, just simple things we take for granted. I couldn't brush my hair. I couldn't fix me something to drink, fix me something to eat. I couldn't do any of that. This is the hardest thing I've had to deal with, um, just having to snap yourself out of that depression because you realize you're not the same person you were before. You know, you have limitations on your life, but I thank God I'm still here. And as time went on, things got better. I started gaining more strength. After three months, I was able to go back to work. I received top-notch care from my medical team. They really took the time to explain my illness, what was going on, the procedures. South Carolina is an area of the country known as the buckle of the stroke belt. We have a tremendous problem here. Uh, with the highest incidence of stroke, the highest mortality from stroke victims. And also, we have a high rate of young stroke. We're finding patients in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. This problem is rampant throughout our community. And as a reaction to that, Prisma Health Richland has committed itself to our stroke care. And specifically, we have just recently been awarded the Joint Commission certification of a Comprehensive Stroke Center. How she's recovered? Absolute miracle. Me and my whole family have gotten a second chance to be with her. So I need to make the best of this, <laughs> you know, and that's what I'm trying to do.